What's going on guys today I'm going to be telling you some sets to avoid um, when you're shopping for new Legos and some just quick little investing tips if you're new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button and um, like this video let's get into it. So we're on the lego.com website and so I'm just going to be telling you some sets that just to stay away from um, from right now unless you're buying them for um, you know display purposes or just building and fun. Um, the first set we're going to talk about today is the Ferrari Daytona SP3. Um, it's a beautiful set as you guys can see on the right. Um, I just think it's amazing. Um, hefty price of $400 but um, definitely super cool and definitely recommend it. But for investment wise though don't do it. Um, you know, it just came out, so it's not going to retire probably for a good two to three years. Um, and you're paying top dollar right now. You know, closer to retirement date, you could um, hopefully get it at a discount. Um, moving on down, we're going to talk about Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime, um, I thought they did a really nice job with him. I wish it was based off the Michael Bay um, movie, but don't buy it right now. It just came out. And it is not going to be um, worth a lot because, you know, of course, they mass produced the set. So a lot of people are going to have this and you're definitely going to have to wait some time in order to get your money back. Another one I really, really love is um, Vincent Van Gogh, The Starry Night, which is $169.99. It is a beautiful set. I'm definitely going to pick that up, um, not for investment purposes right now, but just for a display. I think it looks super cool. But um, if you're if you want to invest in this, definitely wait, um, wait. It's probably going to be around at least a year, maybe two years, but um, wait till it's closer to retirement date and um, there's less in stock and less availability. Um, you'll definitely start to make your money back on that as the years go on because that is a really cool set and I just love the features on that. I'm sorry. I get, I get so excited about that set. Um, moving on down, let's see what else we have here. The Inquisitor Transport is not out yet. I'm looking forward to that though. And... Um, see iron man armory that is way overpriced i'm just saying um not a good investment the shrieking shack and whomping willow that's a nice set um let's see here sorry for the delay guys ambush on ferric is not out yet it is definitely overpriced though um, seventy dollars. You only get three minifigures and a small ship and speeder, which is not worth it. Um, let's talk about the Nano Gauntlet. The Nano Gauntlet is a beautiful set, as you guys can see on the right, and I'm really looking forward to that set. Um, I know it is not out yet, but again, if you want to invest in that, because I think it is super cool, um, wait closer to the retirement date, and um, hopefully you can get some money back um, after it retires. Um, going on down, that seems to be it. The Mandalorian M1 Starfighter, another set that just came out. Beautiful set. I thought LEGO did an amazing job with it. I know we haven't gotten a Naboo M1 Starfighter in a while, so I'm happy we got some version of it. Um, but again, you're going to have to wait um, at least one to two years. This probably is going to be out until the end of 2023, maybe 2024. I would doubt it, though. But um, yeah, $60. I don't know if it's worth $60, but definitely wait to see if you can get it for cheaper at the end of its lifespan, maybe for like $50 or $45. You know, try to make your money back after... Um, it retires and I think that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it about investing in the new summer 2022 sets. Um, I hope you can make um, some smarter decisions now that you watch this video. Again, if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And let's reach our goal of 1000 subscribers by the end of summer. And um, like this video and be sure to share it if you want, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.